Next, let us discuss about the anatomy of the gingiva. So, gingiva is divided into three components. Marginal gingiva, attached gingiva, and interdental gingiva. So, let us take a closer look at each of these. First, let us start with the marginal gingiva. So, marginal gingiva is also known as free gingiva. This is the marginal gingiva which is also known as free gingiva. And this marginal gingiva is forming a collar around the teeth. So, it is separated from the attached gingiva by a shallow depression which is known as free gingival groove. So, this is the marginal gingiva and it is separated from the attached gingiva by a shallow depression. So, this is the marginal gingiva and this portion is the attached gingiva. So, marginal gingiva is separated from attached gingiva by a shallow depression which is called as free gingival groove. So, now let us talk about the width of marginal gingiva. Marginal gingiva is approximately 1 mm thickness or 1 mm wide. So, here the term wide means it is talking about the horizontal dimension or the thickness of marginal gingiva. So, marginal gingiva is 1 mm wide. It is forming the soft tissue wall of the gingival sulcus. So, this is a gingival sulcus. So, marginal gingiva is forming the soft tissue wall of the gingival sulcus. So, this portion of the marginal gingiva is forming the soft tissue wall of the gingival sulcus. The most apical part of the marginal gingiva is known as the 